Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15. We have something really interesting to talk about about this software which actually didn't get much love from iOS users. And initially when Apple released it to the public and they also allowed people to stay on iOS 14 even though iOS 15 was released to the public, not a lot of users updated to iOS 15 so of course that pushed Apple to actually stop that and just make people update to iOS 15 because it didn't get the love they was hoping for. So let's talk about iOS 15 and why I think this has just stopped and it's coming to an end. All right, first of all, let's talk about the latest betas of iOS 15. So we're currently on 15.5 beta and on the initial beta of iOS 15.5 on beta one, we got some new features, which actually are pretty cool. Of course, we got a pretty big feature, which is actually only available in one state on US. So it's the ability to add the driver's license to your Apple wallet app, which is really, really cool. That is only available in Arizona for now. And we have here two new buttons, request and send, of course, on the wallet app. We now have Apple Pay replaced by cash on iMessage and we have also a few new features like the ability to play later from the stocks app. Of course, the weather report is more prominent on the weather app now and we have a new icon on Safari as well. So if you just go to Safari and you try to find something on page, then you will get here a new icon that has been replaced but there have been quite a few big features that have been found on the code of iOS 15.5, which looks like are not coming with iOS 15. One of them is a new classical music app from Apple that has been found on the code and it's actually a separate app from the current music app. There's also the branding of iTunes Pass as Apple account card. Now that account balance can be used to buy products, but also buy apps, games, subscriptions, and things like that. Apple is also working on a Bancomat card support. So all these are features that have been found on the code, but unfortunately it looks like they won't be coming to iOS 15. This is why I think iOS 15 has just ended here. Everything has stopped, so you don't expect to see anything new with iOS 15 anymore. But of course, there's more to it. Let's talk about the beta cycles, what will happen, what to expect in the future, and of course, if you won't be able to update to a newer version of iOS, what you can do. So as of now, we're on iOS 15.5 beta. This is of course, probably the last big update to iOS 15, 15.5. In the future, you're only gonna see 15.5.1, 0.2, and so on. Now, we would expect this update to come out to the public around the end of this month. So somewhere around May 23rd or 24th, we might actually see iOS 15 going out to the public because then we will move on to iOS 16 beta, which will be released on June 1st. That is, of course, the end of iOS 15 don't expect any new features to come to iOS 15. It stops here, everything we got, we got with iOS 15 and there will be no more updates. Of course, there will be updates for a few people. Now the reports say that iOS 16 won't support the oldest devices that are currently supported by iOS 15. And those are the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and of course the original iPhone SE. So those devices will receive updates in the future on iOS 15, but don't expect them to get any new features. Everything that will happen will be updates on things like bugs, security fixes, and things like that. Even though I believe iOS 15 has come to an end when we're talking about features, there are actually a lot of things that Apple can still fix on iOS 15. Hopefully they will because they are very necessary. First of all, you go to the health app, you try to browse here, maybe search for something and it won't bring any results at all. So you can see I can search here anything I want. It just won't show any results at all. That's really, really annoying. Or the old iOS 15 bug, which actually hasn't been fixed yet. Sometimes it gets better. Sometimes it gets worse. You go to general, you will have, of course, here your iPhone storage. And this sometimes will load in seconds, sometimes it will take minutes, and sometimes not even load at all. So these are two of the main bugs that I'm experiencing here on my iPhone on iOS 15.5 currently. And you can see 
right here what i'm talking about the storage is just not loading at all and this is really really annoying so what i believe apple will do now on with ios 15 hopefully get a hand on these bugs and fix them for the users that actually will be left using ios 15 and won't be able to update to ios 16. that would be really really good and of course much appreciated would be work on the battery now battery life on ios 15 hasn't never been that great it has been quite good but not the best ever but of course there was also bugs with ios 15.4 they, they have been fixed on ios 15.4.1 and from now on basically we'll get the same battery life as you got on ios 15.3 with 15.4.1 and 15.5 it's about the same so hopefully they will improve here as well and of course just do the main things like when it comes to performance polish ios 15.5 for users that won't be able to update to ios 16. now as a conclusion ios 15.5 is the last big update to iOS 15. I would expect Apple in the future only to release minor updates with bugs and security fixes. Most of them, of course, will be for users that won't be able to update their device to iOS 16. And throughout the summer, you can expect those minor updates, of course, to come even to users with newer devices that won't be updated to iOS 16 until the end of September when it gets out to the public. So in the future, if you have one of those older devices, you will of course receive security and bug fixes and things like that, but don't expect anything big anymore from iOS 15. I think this update has come to an end. Now it has been quite an interesting update, even though it has some pretty cool features. Most people didn't like this update, but again, a year has gone and we can now expect to see iOS 16, which will be released on beta 1 on june 6th and let's see if we get any bigger changes and features than we got on ios 15. of course if you're not a dev then you won't be able to install the first beta of ios 16 on june 6th you will have to wait probably around three to four other weeks until apple decides to release the public beta so the public can test it and of course once they think it's stable enough for the public to test it you will be able to unroll on the public beta program and try it out for yourself now for the people that have older devices that won't be supported by ios 16 just know that unfortunately there's nothing you can do in the past where this happened i had a lot of people asking me whether there is like a method to install a newer ios version which is not supported by your device that cannot happen and you won't be able to do that so just be aware of that and don't try anything because you might even damage your device so that is it for this video guys let me know what you think about ios 15 have you installed this update have you used it on your device did you like it or not what do you think about this update and what do you hope in the future to come from apple with ios 16 that's it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like as it helps out a lot and of course if you like the video and you want to see more of these don't forget to subscribe i will see you on the next video